welcome back my friends here on Will Edu Tech and in this video we'll be looking at question 1 part B and we'll be looking more specifically at part 3 and part 4. In the previous video we had answered part 1 and 2 okay so if and here here I've stated our answers that we got from part 1 and part 2 when we calculated it so if you're not sure you could always go back to the previous video in the playlist or do a channel search and you can find it okay good now here they're stating to earn some extra money the typist or typist here okay the typist decide to work overtime which makes sense because when we calculated um, her basic weekly wage, it came out to $900. And I mean, if you're speaking about Jamaican currency, uh, this wouldn't be a lot of money. You know, this would be a little bit of money. So definitely I see, we can see why she's working some extra hours to get some extra money. Okay, now here they're saying no. Uh, we're, they're asking us to calculate the wage she would earn for overtime if she worked for a total of 52 hours during a given week so here let me just I highlight some very important points here they're asking us the wage she would earn for overtime and this is what is a critical thing we need to know her wage that she would earn for overtime if she work for a total of 52 hours in a given week Okay, now let's go back to some of the uh, information that we had calculated before. Now, since they want us to ca calculate the wage for her overtime in a given week, just let's make some note of that. And this is part three I'm looking at. So here I can say wage for overtime. That's what we're working out. Wage for, for her OT. Okay, so the wage for her overtime would obviously uh, be, and I hope this makes a lot of sense to you. Now, look at this now, guys. If I'm working out the wage for her overtime, it's the overtime we're calculating. Um, if you note carefully, uh, on a regular basis, as we have calculated in part one above, on a regular basis, she would have worked 40 hours out of every week. So if in this particular week she has worked 52 hours, it simply means then to find the overtime hours that she have worked, we would have to subtract the regular 40 hours from the total 52 to find the overtime hours okay because to find the overtime pay it is overtime hours times the overtime rate okay hope that makes some sense so basically what I'll be doing now I am going to say well then since she had worked this week a total of 52 hours 52 hours I am going to minus the regular the regular 40 hour week that I have underlined at the top here okay I have to subtract 40 from that and then that must be multiplied by the overtime rate which we had calculated in part 2 okay in part 2 there now my overtime rate is a uh, 30 three dollars and seventy five cents so this implies that I have 52 minus 40 that would leave me with 12 and I multiply my 12 by thirty three dollars and seventy five cents and that would have given me 12 times thirty three dollars and seventy five cents we would have gotten a total of four hundred and five dollars okay and that's our answer that's our answer guys okay so hope that was a little bit helpful for you in the fact that um, to find the wage for overtime during that particular week um, we had to subtract the regular 40 hours that she would have worked and then since it's overtime we are calculating then the 12 hours would represent the overtime hours and we must multiply overtime hours by overtime rate which we had calculated in part two here above okay let's look at part four quickly Hi guys, now my friends, let's continue. Now to answer part four, the, and let, let's just go through it, the number of overtime hours she must work during a given week to earn a total wage of 100 and 
1000 rather my bad $1,440 now what I'll be doing in this I'm going to make this a bit interesting just bear with me I am going to solve this algebraically okay so let's 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 see how well um, our algebraic skills are yeah so now let's just make a jotting of some very important notes okay here they're asking us they're asking us to calculate and this is what we're focusing on the overtime hours okay that's what we need to know now in calculating the overtime hours just let's jot down some critical piece of information since they had given us the total amount of money she worked during the week and this total amount of money obviously it's a total wage and we know that total wage must be the overtime and let's make a note of that total total wage okay is equal to the basic wage which we had calculated up here total meaning your basic wage basic wage and you are adding to that plus your over time ot over time pay okay so to get total wage total wage is equal and it makes sense um every week it doesn't matter what happens at work she must she must the, uh, her employer must pay her uh, 900 dollars, which is her basic pay but uh, her overtime now is determined on the amount of hours she worked and we did an example of that in part three here okay she would get paid by that rate now since we are trying to find the overtime hours then we can further break down this little equation that we have here since I want to find the overtime hours now I am going to be looking at the overtime pay and ask what the question that we're asking ourselves is what makes up overtime pay okay that's the question we're asking ourselves now overtime pay Okay, guys, overtime pay must be equal to your overtime hours, okay, your overtime hours multiplied by your overtime rate, okay? Now, if you notice, um, a lot of these values we had calculated before. Um, we had calculated the overtime rate in part two, and here it is, uh, $33.00. And 75 cents so quickly having this equation or having these well these pieces of information we can now make an equation to solve for the number of hours overtime hours that she would have worked in that week and and hope this kind of information makes sense okay guys so let's let, let's look at how applicable it is now I'm going to create my equation now basically what I'm saying here is that is that since they have given us the total money I am saying that the total my total wage my total wage must be equal to my basic wage plus my overtime pay my basic wage my basic and let me just rewrite it here my basic wage okay and I'm going to add to that plus my overtime pay but since and this is a critical piece of information since they have asked us to calculate the overtime hours worked and in the overtime pay you would have look and it's right here I've made a note of it in overtime pay what makes up overtime pay is overtime hours and overtime rate then what I really want here guys and let me just on the let me just circle this I really want my overtime hours this is what I'm trying to find this is what they're asking us so because overtime pay makes up um, um, since overtime pay is made up of overtime hours times overtime rate then really I could put in bracket here instead of writing overtime pay I could write what overtime pay really is another uh, expression for that so overtime hours okay multiplied by my over time rate okay hope that that this is not too much for you now but you know just 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 testing your algebraic skills so having this equation now okay guys um we're going to be substituting values and see what we get out of this now quickly let's substitute we have a total wage they gave that to us we have a total wage of 14 so let's just substitute 1440 
okay and that must be equal to we have the basic wage we had calculated the basic wage in part one above and let's just uh, underline that in red up top that's the 900 there so we have that so let's just put that in our basic wage per week it doesn't matter what happened we, she must get $900 and I'm adding to that okay what I'm adding to that now is the overtime hours times the overtime rate but if you notice carefully we had gotten our overtime rate already uh, our overtime rate we had calculated it here to be 33 dollars and 75 cents so here now i can just by substitution say my 33 dollars and 75 cents is multiplying my overtime hours so with this we can quickly we can quickly solve this equation hope you see all the values that i have substituted and the whole concept behind it okay guys so let me just pull this up a bit good that should be fine. Now, all we're doing is just to solve this equation. Now, really, here I have a 1440, okay? So let me bring down my 1440. Now, if you notice what is happening, 900 is being added to all of this, 33.75 times overtime hours. So um, basically, by transposition, I'm subtracting 900 from both sides. So here I'm subtracting 900, which is equal to um, this 900. So what I do to one side of my equation, I must do to the other side of my equation. So I had a 900, so I have to subtract 900. A positive 900, so let me just write this first. 33.75 times OT r's okay otrs is what we're trying to find so a positive will cancel out with a negative and 1440 minus 900 will leave us with a 540 so i have a 540 here and that is equal to what i have left here is a 3375 and that is multiplying my overtime hours, okay? Now, basically, if you notice, 3375 uh, is multiplying overtime hours. So to carry that over, I must do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I div I'm dividing both sides by $33.75. Sorry, let me just correct that and 75 cents okay five so what i do to one side i'm just simply going to do to the next side so 3375 so 3375 will cancel out with 3375 so what i have left here is my overtime hours so therefore my overtime hours is equal to and i have 540 divided by 33 0.75 or 75 cents and I would get a 16 hours okay my friends so this would work out to be 16 hours and you can try it for yourself I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to work this out quite pretty interesting to use algebra to solve this question we have our overtime hours and that is equal to 16 hours so basically what they're saying here is that uh, she for her to work 14 1440 dollars she would have to work uh 16 hours of overtime during a particular week that's simply what they're saying uh feel free to leave a comment or a question if you're not sure about something and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye